What's up guys, it's Casey Sullivan aka the Fort Sanderson sister coming at you with another Hocus Pocus merch review video. Uh, I just don't have to do this one on the ground, which is nice because uh, I like being able to sit in my chair <laughs> um, instead of on the ground, which I mean I do have a being bag chair. But anyway, the point of the matter is this is what we're looking at today. The record album, official motion picture soundtrack on album of Hocus Pocus. Um, the original soundtrack is on this two record set. It is a two record set and it is beautiful. It is beautiful as you can see here. Um, trying to get the glare off of it but it's very hard to do. Um, but as you can see it shares the same uh, casing as the uh, DVD or the re-released DVD cover. So it looks like the newer DVD case. Um, original picture still a uh, different moon blue moon it's a really nice looking cover and on the back we've also got the complete track list for each uh they call them discs but record is what i would call them <gasps> i would call them an album a record album i don't know would it be discs what is the proper term here you moron i thought it was just records either way we have disc one, disc two, it's a two disc set. Uh, it's got the complete list of everything on here, including the titles for all these things. Um, and I think it's really nice that we finally have a, have a great um, track list for it. Uh, but the inside is what it really looks like. Inside is awesome. The inside is awesome. So we'll talk about over here in a second because we got the complete song list again. But it's got every single uh, person, the conductor, the contractor, the violins, there's a lot of violins. It's got every person who was involved with this soundtrack on here. And I think that's really great. It's also something I probably need to study in case we do Bean Boozled again for my birthday next year and you guys decide to pull from this. So, <laughs> a little study guide for me. Um, but it, it even has a special note. Um, except Garden of Magic slash Thackeray Follows Emily and Sarah's theme composed by James Horner or music composed and conducted by John Debney and then it has the except for these uh, things so you guys know but they are arranged and conducted by John Debney um, I just really think that's really cool that they were just like hey we were gonna really quickly specify um, that this is uh, not by John Debney but um I never actually knew the names of these songs because back in the day, I'm going to close this for just a second. Back in the day, I got a Hocus Pocus soundtrack off of eBay that I thought was an official soundtrack. It was burned, people. <laughs> it was burned onto a CD. Um, so I never had an official track list for uh, the names of the songs, which kind of was a bummer because back then maybe I would have realized that uh, Sarah's song is not in fact called Come Little Children. It's in fact called Garden of Magic. And I had to learn that from another book <laughs> um, called uh, Hocus Pocus, The Thinking Fan's Guide to the uh, Halloween cult classic or something like that. It's a very long title, <laughs> but I got it over there. And I just remembered I was, I was reading the book and I got to part about music and I was like, oh yeah, these songs are, what the heck is Garden of Magic? And then it went on to say, this is what Sarah was singing, and I went, Wait. What? 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 It's not, it's not called, that's not its name? Its name isn't Come Little Children? What is happening? I mean, I think I went into a crisis for a minute, because I was like, my whole life is a lie! <laughs> I have grown up believing that this is what that was called. That it's been Come Little Children's as long as I've been alive, and I will still call it that till the day I die. But I try to refer to it correctly on here um, as Garden of Magic. But yeah, had I had an actual track list, I would have known back then. But, um, so yeah, we've got that. It's got everything on here. Um... I like that it's called Winnie's Lament because I'm over here like, into the woods! <laughs> the witch's lament. Um, what I really, really want to talk about that I just think is the best part of this is the photos that they include. Because they're not all ones we had seen before. Um, 
we've seen this behind the scenes shot of Danny. This is obviously on like everything. This is the DVD menu of one of the Hocus Pocus release DVDs from mid to early 2000s, I think. Um, that one's a very famous shot, as we know, of the girls singing I Put a Spell on You. This one's on the back of every VHS case and probably on the back of several DVD cases. This one was more of a D23 kind of, here's a released picture that we've been holding on to for a long time. I think it was included in the Blu-ray's uh, guidebook when it came out for the 25th anniversary, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, this one down here, we never had a proper photo of this without watermarks on it, because I've got it hanging up back there, but it's got watermarks on it. So it's like we finally got a nice, good picture of uh, Sarah on her broom, but I'm really excited that they finally released one of Mary flying, because we don't really see those, um, especially with it being on her broom. So it was back towards the beginning, obviously, before they lost their brooms. But I don't remember ever seeing this photo until I got this record album, and I was just like, wait a minute, where has that been all my life? That's a photo I've never seen before! That's weird! I mean, I've seen all of the photos, but I hadn't seen that one, so it was it was really new to me, and I was very happy to see that. And over here we have the one of the most famous pictures of Winnie that's out there in one of Binks. But it was these two specifically that kind of blew my gourd a little bit, because I was like, whoa! I've never seen this one without watermarks all over it, and I've never seen this one. <laughs> and I just stop it. I've never seen this one. Um, but it's really nice that they included all these shots. I really kind of wish they had released, like, maybe a photo thing with it, like a little photo card gallery inside the record, but um, it's not there. So let's actually look at the records really quick. Um, so this is disc one. I don't know. Wouldn't these be called discs? I don't know records. I didn't grow up with records. You moron. So it's blue, which I like that it's blue. I think that's really neat. <laughs> I think it's really neat that it's blue, kind of like the full moon that they used. Um, but this is really neat. This is the side A, and it's got the RPM on it. It came, it was copyrighted, it looks like, in 2013, but not released until... 2022. What came out in 2022 that made them want to release this? Hmm, maybe the second movie? <laughs> um, so they released this record album back in 2022, but it was copyrighted back in 2013, so clearly they had been working on this for a long time. Um, but Side A has the main title, Garden of Magic slash Thackeray Follows Emily, um, which is Lair to the Stake, which I I know all of these tracks by their sound. I don't know their names, which for me is just kind of like, this is disconcerting. You could pop this on and I could tell you exactly what is happening in the movie as the track is playing. But ask me what their names are and I'm just like, <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs> I got nothing. Um trying to be super careful with this, but it's really hard. Um, uh, to the stake, death to the witches, meeting Allison, Max loses his shoes. I just adore the fact that that is what it's called, is Max loses his shoes. Not the bullies, it's Max loses his shoes, because that's the most important thing that happened there. Uh, Halloween, with an apostrophe between the two E's. I don't know if that's actually like a Thing with some spellings. I'll have to Google that. I'm sure editing Casey will pop up a note or something. Um, we've got Max and Danny. Track 10 is the uh, Diver Divertimento number 17 by Mozart, which is one of the only other uh, songs on the soundtrack that was not, in fact, done by John Debney. And we have the side B, <coughs> which has To the Witch's House We Go, The Black Candle, doesn't even have black flame candle, which I find interesting. They just called it the black candle. Which is on a rampage. <laughs> um, graveyard attack, the calming circle, the master, and fingers. <laughs> you know what the fingers thing is in reference to, right? <laughs> That poor guy. 
Poor Billy. Poor, poor Billy. He's been through the ringer. And then we have our second disc, obviously, and the rest of the tracks are on these two sides. Um, number one is Springing the Trap, uh, which would be... That one, I can tell you what that one is. That one is the uh, high school where they're trapped in the kiln. Um, Winnie's Lament, Witch's Fight, Sarah's Theme. Now, I haven't played this because I don't have a record player. <laughs> I think my mom does somewhere, but it's up in a closet and probably in a box and all this other stuff that I'm like, I just don't want to go through. Um, Sarah's Theme, I don't know if that's going to mean it's just the music or if it's also the vocals which i'll get to that in a minute um <laughs> but sarah's theme max fools the witches when he catches up which is the pull over let me see your driver's permit and billy speaks and then on the back why they didn't line that up perfectly is beyond me um which is capture danny which is demise slash resurrection and then end credits now they have alternate tracks on here Yo! which i really actually didn't know about until i just now looked at this a little harder now i actually do want to go hunt down that record player crap but we have the witch's lair part three which is the original version which is take danny alternate version when he catches up alternate version and string tremolo and the eighth one is the end credits which is also an alternate version I want to listen to these alternate versions um, so I can hear what those sound like. I'm sure people who collect records are seeing me hold this so precariously and you guys are going, what are you doing? That I think is really cool that they have alternate versions of the tracks on here. Um, that's a nice little bonus that we get uh, is the unreleased stuff, which I have not heard. So I'm going to have to look into that and see if I like the alternate versions or if I like what was obviously put in the last movie. All right, the last movie, the first movie, the final cut of the movie. I've been on vacation. My brain's not all the way back yet. I apologize. <laughs> um, but you know what we didn't get? You know what's not on here? You know what's not on this beautiful two record set? That I kind of referenced a minute ago. Stand back, she's gonna blow! No vocals! There are no vocals. There is no I put a spell on you, nor is there Garden of Magic with SJP singing. There is nothing. There is nothing of the actual song songs from the movie. We get a re-released record album and a very nice one at that. And we still don't get official releases of the most famous song in this franchise or Garden of Magic. <laughs> and I'm just like, this is... What sense does this make? Why <laughs> are we still being deprived <laughs> of the studio version if I put a spell on you which I'm sure is out there? Probably in the same vault as the deleted scenes from the first movie that we have yet to see and probably will never see unless somebody out there has the 1994 pay-per-view version that they probably had to yo-ho me hearties off of the TV <laughs> back in the day. That's probably where the studio release is. <laughs> Just chilling with the deleted scenes, gathering dust, going, Welp, we're never getting out of here. We're never leaving this closet. It's fine. <laughs> so that's the one bummer about the record set is we don't get Garden of Magic or I Put a Spell on You. Again. <laughs> so sick of complaining about this but i think i'm gonna be complaining about it until the day i die so there's that um but there you go guys that is uh oh i should probably tell you where i got this huh i found this at walmart this was at walmart in their uh, record section so it could still be there i did get this like last year year before but could still be out there i think it was like twenty dollars I don't remember. So, I don't remember. I think it was maybe $15, $20 at most. 
um, for this record set. You could probably find it on Amazon for either the same price or probably cheaper. I would even check eBay, but they might upcharge you a little bit. You never know. <laughs> um, so that is the beautiful original motion picture soundtrack of Hocus Pocus on record set. And it's really cool that that exists. I just wish I would put it on a CD because I can't tote a record player in my little Corolla. <laughs> I can't tote a record player in my Corolla, so I cannot listen to this in the car. Just a CD, if you please. <laughs> Thank you. So there you go, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to drop a like and subscribe if you haven't. It's free. It helps me. What helps me helps you guys get more great content like this. Thank you guys for being so patient with me while I took most of last week off. The only thing we did miss, though, was uh, Black Flame Gaming last Saturday. I still did Black Flame Gaming on Twitch. I just did it on another night, and we did have our upload last week. I really needed the time off. I really needed to get away from work, both jobs, <laughs> um, because the other one's about to ramp up because it's summer, and this one is actually seemingly to be on the upswing again. So I'm trying to, like, pump it out. I'm trying to be consistent, but I really needed that break, and I got my break, and I feel revitalized, and I feel re-energized to start bringing you guys more Hocus Pocus content again. And, uh, just... Thank you for uh, being patient with me taking some time off. So, that said, we're going to be back on Twitch on Thursday night at 7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time, playing more Hogwarts Legacy, um, which, where we left off, I was in the middle of a quest because I was like, it's getting late, I gotta pack, I can't keep doing this, but I really wanted to finish it, so we're going to pick up where we left off with Sebastian in uh, Feldcroft, so I think we were going to go hunt some goblins, and I'm very excited, um, but it's going to be a lot of fun, uh, so tune in over on Twitch, make sure you follow me on Twitch for more of those uh, playthroughs, and Saturday night we'll be back here on the channel for more Black Flame Gaming with Mary Sanderson plays Pokemon Heart Gold Randomized Nuzlocke Edition at 7.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time, and holy crap, it is going in the crapper so fast! So fast! We had the worst episode we have ever had with Mary Sanderson as our avatar. Obviously not this last Saturday, but the Saturday before, and I was just destroyed. I was destroyed by the end of it. We lost four Pokemon, one of which was so important to us, especially to the story, that I'm like, I'm never gonna emotionally recover from this. It's fine. So I'm ready to get back with our new team. We're pumping up the gas. We're getting close to the end. Um, so come tune in for that. And, uh... Let's just hope things get better. They seem to be getting worse every time. But maybe they'll get better this time. So tune in for that Saturday night. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you're a regular on this channel, please remember to drop a like. And share your thoughts on this record album down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Casey Zolgeman, a.k.a. The Fort Sanderson Sister. And I'll see you witches and wizards later. I am